altcoin explosion in April is kind of looking to get that momentum. Altcoin explosion in April as we discussed and anticipated and prepared during our portfolio discussions is having the higher odds as we break out. We talked about this previously and now as we get this one you should be getting a little bit excited about the market because it's happening. This is the altcoin market cap and as you saw this it was just a little patience which you needed to make money in many assets. Here altcoin cap has broken to the upside and for altcoin investors this is more interesting than anything else why because the btc dominance is going down mm -hmm. and the explosive price gains can be arriving in many different assets in the altcoin side because wave 2 is starting in most of the coins as we drop now we do have to go technically and look at the stuff how low can this actually go in terms of btc dominance drop then do we anticipate a consolidation day yeah that's a support so there is a probability so we'll have to go through that then the altcoin cap and others why because we see a huge potential and as we look at xrp yeah we strongly believe that xrp lagged during the first wave but as the altcoin take off for the second wave here we definitely believe xrp is going to join this mark up session with next five to eight months that's going to be a huge change in which april towards june should give you much higher roi than you anticipated now this is altcoin now as we look at the general market we understand xrp is one among that coin which has that huge fundamentals now why do we actually say that while we look at all these stuff evolving we definitely do understand that it does concrete the fundamentals which it had previously and we were discussing through this stuff right from last couple of months and now the news is coming out that yes tons of dollars are moving into the crypto and as you look at different stuffs you do have to understand why we are focusing on this because that definitely gives you that opinion that they are expanding over the horizon during this current session where the price is not moving much as many are depressed for xrp and moving into different assets but we here in the scientific investor channel are following many different assets and reaching our targets on a regular basis taking out our profits and then buying more xrp before we break out of this one why if you step out you'll get different views to understand what these technical is showing you because the language of technical analysis is so important for me i use that to support my trading and that's going pretty well as you can see we are reaching targets for many different assets and this is only because i'm listening to the language which the chart is saying if you can understand english it's fine if you go to a different region if they speak something else you won't understand right same stuff you learn the language of technical analysis and it supports you to make money now always do understand your portfolio may have different assets now crypto market is like tons of different assets it would be like 4000 5000 different assets and not every coin is moving to the upside you have last 24 hours you can look at that and you will validate that last seven days you can look at that and you will validate that right so if you are not on the right coin for the right time horizon then you may not be making profit and that's why we try to go through different assets and give you that perspective that which would be better for next three months next five months how you can actually re reduce your risk because it's not only about trying to get that hundred percentage gain which unless you are a bot you know buying that bottom and buying that top is going to be really difficult so we try to minimize our risk and still get 70 percentage of that targeted profit that's how an investor should think like welcome to the scientific investor family where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly as we look at all of this stuff understanding there are profits being taken from the market always do understand this is a market where if you make money someone else lose that if someone else is losing that that means there is money in the market which you can take or otherwise if you're not prepared you're not going to make that 
there are individuals who are making it so far it's like four to five eggs for this human being who joined into our patreon just three months back now for some of you that that huge increase as we see it may not be the case you would be saying okay it's just four x i need 10 50 100 x but remember we are all here for family not for a maserati or a limbo which you can buy ultimately but it's not about that it's about minimizing your risk and entering into different stuffs now as we look at this you definitely have to understand opportunity is in the market now this is xrp on its daily now as we look at the xrp chart you can understand the rsi is moving inside this pattern we do understand that we need a breakout to the upside the rsi should move into the overbought territory and for that we need volume now what does the story of volume tell us we can look at this on a weekly and you can definitely understand the volume just popped during november and it slowly decreased 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 and as of now we are going down so many would actually say okay that's actually a bad sign now you get two cases where this can be a bad sign meaning at the top of a bull market or before a breakout now if you look at this particular area this is the top of the bull market and you can see we were reducing in volume we were going down 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 in volume and the price and we never kind of took back right it was entering a bear market now i'll actually take you to the same chart xrp usd on a weekly to see that volume fluctuation to understand how it changed right before the last market cycle so if you see this you had that pump mm -hmm. the volume reduced for a long time then you got volume the price pumped a little bit but it didn't go much higher then the volume started going down then soon as the volume came back price started moving to the upside now you come back to the current price scenario and then look at how the market is reacting we had that pump we went to the downside then after some time we got this volume we went to the upside but it didn't actually make through a lot of highs yes i do agree but the price history of xrp shows that it does happen unless you're prepared you're gonna be surprised now when we say that majority would be like okay we've been telling this from a long time but do understand xrp is an asset which does that stuff in such a manner if you measure the number of days in the market cycle you'll understand yes it takes time it's like 1300 days and if you really want to measure that one you can actually put that into perspective like okay we still have 100 days in that sense but that's not it there are a lot more you should be understanding while looking at the charts right that one is this horizontal resistance which we broke about we are staying about we came back we retested and bounced now we have couple of overhead resistance which is close right 0.56 all the way up to 0.6 mm -hmm. now we managed to touch that couple of time but currently we are moving in a pattern and we need a breakout whether it's to the downside or to the upside ultimately we are going to break out from this pattern right we can observe this pattern and if we can see this pattern in macd rsi and the price that definitely means the price is going to do something and this is symmetrical it can break to the upside or to the downside but as we can see the price has spent more time near the resistance here in this trend line resistance chances are high that we may break to the upside and if that happens in the rsi macd and the price that's going to be 1.2 dollar directly right now we are 0.56 and yes that's like 120 percentage gain not like that 10x 100x but that's just the starting point of it where you're going to get the volume back where the confidence in the market is going to come back now why do we say that because this is april here in south korea and as i look at this chart this is monthly candle of xrp and you can see that the macd i'm sorry the moving average is still below the price or oh, the price is above the moving average and it's closing in green if you remember back here when this candle closed i told okay it's a good sign we closed above the moving average then the following month we did a correction we ended in red but i told you if we are gonna get a green candle which closes above this red candle that is going to be a continuation pattern 
Now that can happen with another candle here pumping directly towards $3.5. It's crypto market. You can't say that we didn't expect that one. That's why we try to anticipate looking at the market. So what would you anticipate looking at the market for XRP right now? You can just delete all of this and just back. Okay, this is fine. Weekly chart. Just look at this weekly chart and see where would this go if we are going to break out from here, right? So you have a overhead resistance here. Mm -hmm. Then you have a trend line resistance where we are trending right now. So if we are to break above from here, which the RSI suggests, mm -hmm, if you are to follow this correctly, you can see, yeah, we kind of faked out here. Even in the price, we did that. And then we bounce back and we still are inside a trend where the RSI has a lot of room. Say, you know, it should pump. But the question is, how much time it would take? And then the next step, do you have that patience, that level of patience, which you really need to make that gains? Because when XRP moves, it moves the most. Now, this is the first resistance level, which you can see afterwards. Then the next one, then the all time high as next. Last time when we pumped, we remember we had resistance levels here, which was one of the long resistance. Then we had it here, right? So when we pumped, we pumped through one, two and stopped at the third resistance level. So if that's the case, one, two, and we may stop at 1.6, 1.9, or if we get volume, we may move towards the all time high. This has to be kept in your mind as you go through because the fundamentals are literally changing. You literally have to understand that the market moves in a direction of where the work is being done more. It's not about you or me, but it's about the real big investors and how they view the market. If a company is expanding, putting a lot of work and getting that adoption rate and the productivity which they are working towards, this is literally gonna take it over. We can see that Ripple kind of tweeted this one. Congrats to Ripple partner, the Mercury FX, that's the ODL partner, which is the on-demand liquidity using XRP for being accepted into South Africa's IFWG regulatory sandbox. Now do understand, this is a fintech company getting into that sandbox of the government because, you know, you have to understand, this is going to change many stuff and they are still expanding. They're bringing in more team members into that one because they know that they are building something huge. And as we evolve, SEC claims that Ripple is well aware of that difference of Bitcoin and XRP. Yes, I do agree that the difference between Bitcoin and XRP, everyone should know if they know about XRP and Bitcoin. One is first generation crypto and you know this next one is coming with a ton of use cases which solves those pain points which need to be solved in the payments arena which is the most important stuff in the business. Common man's life and everything is related to value exchange. You go to a grocery, you buy stuff, you need to pay wherever you go. If you want to get something, you need to exchange that value. So that's happening here with an idea that governments are also understanding this. Spanish island government decides to sell its Bitcoin investment by citing ethical reason. Now, when you go through different stuff, you have to understand, see, there are going to be different kind of shows which uh, the big investors show you. But you definitely need to understand, you first have to look at the direction of where the money is flowing and then look at what they are showing you. See, this particular tweet from Documenting Bitcoin, I think they are putting it out like, you know, it's cool that they said this first and now they're coming into this one. Fine, but at least I don't see this like that. Goldman Sachs denies Bitcoin is an asset class. Fine, last year. So what was the price of Bitcoin last year, May? So we can go into the charts. Mm -hmm. We can then look at BTC at that point price level. Now, this is so important for you to understand because by the time of May, the price of BTC was below 10,000. It was consolidating in that area and this news kind of came out, right? Now, after one year, when the price is like 500 percentage up near $60,000, this is coming out. What does that actually mean? 
I would say this is what the general market usually does. They manipulate the market, says that, okay, don't buy into this, this is not an asset class, and then they buy into that stuff. Fine. And when the price is reaching through the skies, they want to take profit. So they need someone else to be buying at the other end, and they need idiots, right? Now, don't be offended if you're buying into that asset because personally, I'll call myself an idiot because last market cycle when XRP was like $3.6, $3.8, I was one among that idiot who was buying into the market without understanding the investing stuff because I was just a trader in Forex commodities. I was trading the market. I was not much into that fundamental side because I was using pure technical analysis to support my trades. But right now I can see the fundamental changes as I've been studying this space for some time. Now say when we look at the market and understand that this is not a small stuff, you will definitely look at this and say okay last four years of study through all the different reports, white papers showed you something different. Now along with that when you look at this one, yes it makes sense. Meaning. March 31st is financial year closing. Fine. So that means from April, if institutions want to reallocate their money, they can do that. And that's happening. We anticipated this and we positioned ourselves in many different assets, which we are taking our profits right now. If you look at this, this is the Patreon where we post updates. And you can see, literally, we are posting charts for almost every assets which have that fundamental volume, liquidity, and that technical upside but the case is you have 4000 coins you won't be able to go through all the different coin and get everything which is moving up if you try to do that you will end up chasing the price and get stuck somewhere where the price is already through the skies and you are waiting for that throughout the bear market instead what should you be doing you should be positioning yourself based on these fundamentals and then ask yourself okay is it really going to happen? And if it is, then are you prepared to take that benefit? Is your portfolio going to balloon when that literally happens? This is something which you have to consider because as different exchanges starts to relist XRP, it is going to be changing. Now in one geographical area, it's already starting and we highlighted that previously, so I'm not going into that again. But do understand that as a company, Ripple is expanding. Ripple, the company, is plotting XRP as a reserve asset for the globe. Now, what do you mean by that? Is it a security? Now, yeah, we have seen many arguments, you know, but these are kind of childish arguments which we even saw in the social networking sites, like, you know, Apple is selling a iPhone and they are building many use cases for iPhone. So that, that doesn't literally make your iPhone a security of Apple, right? These are kind of stuff which everyone knows and it's already there in the social networks. But many don't understand this. As prices goes through the all-time highs and you see the mass media saying this is going through the roof, do understand there can be a consolidation in the Bitcoin market. Now, when we say that, you can literally jump into the Bitcoin chart and then reanalyze what's happening. Last time when Bitcoin was reaching here, on a three-day chart, I believe. I told you guys, now you can go back in the videos and check what we were talking about through this time frame. I was informing you guys, we were moving good and we are coming down to that support level. When others were saying we're gonna go down towards 20, I told, okay, this is the first support level, this is the second support level. Unless you move through that, you're not going to go down. And that's happening in the market, right? You are getting a little bit of bounce there. And at the same time, you're moving to the upside here. That's huge. So as we look at the Bitcoin market, what do you understand? We came back and when we reached this moving average, 25th, 26th May, March, I told you, yeah, the possibilities are high that we may bounce because recently we have done that. We reached or closer towards that moving average, made that reversal pattern and went up. Now. I told you this previously and I'm telling you this again. You definitely need to consider this stuff. This is the recent high, which you have to keep your eyes somewhere close to 62 and I mean 62,000. And then you have to understand the momentum is reducing. 
I told you previously, this was 140 percentage. Fine. Then the next one from the moving average till the top reduced to 97. So that's difference. Yeah, that's a big difference. Now then you see this one is 42. So how much is going to be the next one? Right. And then you can measure this bottom and then try. Okay, this is already reaching 20 percentage if we are going towards that 62k mark. Okay, will that be the end of it? We may, you know, if it's going to 30 percent, it's like 67. Fine. How much do you make in ROI? Not about the price of Bitcoin, saying 67,000. If you have invested $10,000 in BTC, based on your average, how much would you be making? That's the question. Because that's where you see altcoins does way better. The return rates, you look at for BTC, you can see 800 percentage, whereas Ethereum, which hasn't done much, from last couple of months is still giving you way better than that. Then you look at assets, way different assets showing you way huge returns, right? Now, how do you get that? You position yourself at least in five different assets and take your targets. When you reach your targets, you're taking profits. Then if you want to move into another asset, if, because if you are not long on that particular asset, yeah, that's fine. You're gonna get higher ROI. You're gonna compound your ROI. If you would like to get these kind of charts and updates for your trading in crypto, you can look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description. We have around 950 members who are currently getting that benefit. Now we are nearing 1000, say 990. So there would be always guys, one to two percentage of them saying, okay, I came here. I didn't get what I wanted because I'm doing short term training. Now, if you are a short term trader, don't join because I don't do that stuff. That's risky one stuff. And you have to be sticked, you know, yourself to that computer charts for 24 seven. We are not doing that. We are investors. We try to make the most by reducing the risk because we all have family. We're not putting them into the risk. One of my first preference would be reducing the risk and then maximizing the gains. Why? I'm not a short term trader. Yeah, sometimes I put a target for three weeks, four weeks. It happens in a week. Now that's euphoria in the market. You should be happy taking your profits and stepping out, waiting for a correction, because that definitely happens. If you wanna stay educated, if you want a one on one session to understand what's investing, what you have in your portfolio, what assets can you look at when you take your profits from crypto, where should you move and other stuff to compound that generational wealth for next 5, 10, 15 years, you can definitely look at the link of Patreon in the description. Now guys, that's all for today and I believe you received value for your time and if you did, please do hit that like and subscribe button. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.